so such a low energy. Please unmute yourself, online participants. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. 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 Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Oh, that's Happy morning. great. Happy morning. Happy yeah, morning. You wouldn't believe me that I really miss you all. <laughs> that I couldn't come even to the online meeting this whole two weeks. So yeah, I'm really glad to be here to meet you all online and on-site participants. So as Surgeon at Arms, I, my responsibility is to ensure the meeting goes well with all the setup and to ensure the online also can participate well in this online meeting, in this hybrid meeting. So please follow all of the house rules that I have here. The first one is be on time, of course. Thank you for all of the on-site participants that comes into our venue on time and online participants as well that join via, via our Zoom link. The second one, please rename yourself. For on-site participant, you would have the name tag there. You would please write up your name there. And for the online participants, please rename yourself if you are a role taker. Please rename yourself with the role, the role desk, your name, desk, your club. If you're a visiting Toastmaster, please rename yourself with the PTM, desk, your name, desk, your club. And if you're a distinct, our distinguished guest, please rename yourself with the G in the prefix, G, desk, your name. And then, Please turn on your camera so we can see here we have the beautiful projector and we will see all of the of uh, all of your face so the speakers on site could interact with you as well. And please keep your microphone on mute unless the speaker invites you to speak. And then be fully present and have fun. I will give the control to Toastmaster Dona, president of SCBD Toastmasters Club. Thank you to our Sergeant at Arms, Toastmaster Adrian. Happy morning, everyone. Happy morning. Happy morning. Welcome Happy morning. to SCBD Toastmasters Club. We are here to learn how to become better speakers and better leaders. So. SCBD Toastmasters Club is named after our beloved neighborhood and has existed since 2005. Next, please. We are part of Toastmasters International that has 300,000 members worldwide in almost all countries. So if you want to make friends and if you want to go have a worldwide network, this is the place for you. Next, please. So our mission is integrity, respect, service, and excellence. We provide a supportive and positive community in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. All right. And how do we do that? We do that through pathways. These are the six sort of majors where you get to finish projects and do speeches that help you get to your goals. If you're looking for a promotion at work, you can do dynamic leadership. If you've never been on stage before, you can do presentation mastery. And if you need some more funny bone in you, you can take engaging humor. There's always something for everyone. Next, please. And how do we do that within Pathways? Within your path, there are many unique projects that can help you reach your goals. If you want to, say, have a little speech at someone's wedding, you can try the power of humor in an impromptu speech. If you want to have your interview, if you want to make your own PR strategy, or if you want to have your own project through high performance leadership. Next, please. And being a Toastmaster is a chance for you to become a world public speaking champion, an international leader, a mentor to others, and a leader of your own terms. These are all real things, by the way. And, oh, we are not doing those. So we have, you can go ahead and click next. Yes. 
So congratulations to our members who have finished our events. I think these are not updated, but I do have a few other um, notifs and information for you. But if you have any curiosity regarding our club, please text our VP membership to Spencer Dede right on this number and follow us on Instagram and on YouTube. And you can also scan that barcode right over there. So we meet every Friday, right today, every week. And on the ends of the month, on the first and last week of the month, we meet here at the Ministry of Education Library, Jakarta. Without further ado, I'd like to officially open this meeting. Okay, let's give a round of applause to start the meeting. All right. So I'd like to hand the control to our two sister of the meeting. Ooh, hi. Two sister Oh my God. Hi. Happy morning. Happy oh, one morning. morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Hi, oh my God, I miss you guys. I have not been here only two weeks, but uh, every time if I, yes, if I miss a meeting, I'm already missing you guys. I hope that you guys are doing great. And uh, today I'm your Toastmaster of the meeting, basically your MC. I will guide you through the amazing sessions of tonight, SGBD's Speakathon and Listenathon. I think I pronounced that correct. Give a round of applause. For such a great feed, someone will say, what is speakathon and listenathon? So basically, this is not our re regular meetings. We will have three amazing, amazing sessions. That, uh, the first one is prepared speech session, but not only normal sp uh, prepared speech. We will have five speakers. Oh, no, six speakers tonight, which will be evaluated by six evaluators. But then we will also have a very unique session called Listenathon. But I will not be explaining that. Uh, the Listenathon master will do that. Before going forward, I will actually introduce you guys to our word of the day. Do any of you know what is our word of the day? No? All right. To actually in attentive. Yes. Wait, who said that? What's your name? Rachel, yes, thank you so much. Yes, our word of the day is attentive. Since we do not have grammarian today, I will be the one who introduced the word of the day, which is attentive. Repeat after me, attentive, which means paying close attention to something. So make sure to pay close attention to the meeting, especially later in the listen-a-thon session. All right, so without further ado, to explain more about the evaluation session, let me give the control to our GE, which is Toastmaster, let me check, Toastmaster Brian from Jakarta Toastmasters Club. Toastmaster Brian, are you there? Yep, I'm here. All right, Toastmaster Brian, to, before you explain your role, I will test your attentiveness. Do you remember what is the color of Toastmaster Donna's headband? Is that pink? Is that blue? I think it's from pink or blue. Can you, can you come here again, Toastmaster Donna, and reveal the answer? It's, it's blue, right? Oh, so, yes, give a round of applause still for Toastmaster Brian. But now you get to redeem yourself by explaining your role and your team to you. Right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, our Toastmaster of the meeting for the time. My name is Brian Hussein from GDC, and today I'll be serving you as a general evaluator. And what is the function or the job of general evaluator is basically to evaluate everything that takes place throughout the meeting. But because of this um, huge job, that means I'm not going to do this alone. Rather, I have a team who will assist me to conduct and to complete this role. And that's it allow me to call my member. Uh, we only have two actually role takers, a part of my team that is a timer and then a ballot counter. And for timer, we have two timers actually. One is a Karan Gyanchandani from GDC who will time the prepared speaker. And then uh, Toastmaster Sultan from SGBD who will time the evaluator um, session. And to represent 
And to explain the job of the timer and the timer regulation, I would like to introduce and give a time for Toastmaster Sultan to explain the timer regulation. Uh, without further ado, Toastmaster Sultan, are you there? Yes. Yep, whenever you're ready. Am I audible? Okay, happy morning. Happy morning. Okay. Happy, morning. happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Okay, fellow Toastmaster and guests, my name is TM Sultan and I will serve as your timer for tonight. I will be working outside TM Karan, our on site timer. As the online timer, I will give you time signal by changing the color of my background according to the agenda. For instance, the regular prepared speeches will be five to six minutes. At five minutes, I will change my background to green. At six minutes, yellow. And at seven minutes, red. For icebreaker speeches, will should be four to six minutes. Four minutes green, five minutes yellow, and six minutes red. For evaluation, the timing is two. Eh, ah oh yes. I'm sorry. Two to three minutes, two minutes green, 2.5 minutes yellow, and three minutes red. To all the speakers, don't forget to wrap up within 30 seconds after seeing the red background to stay within the eligible time for voting. So let's keep our timing in check and enjoy the session. Thank you all. Thank you so much uh, for our timer. And just a little bit a uh, reminder for timer, don't forget to raise, uh, to use the feature of raising hand in a Zoom so that the online speaker can see that. Uh, now I would also like to call our ballot counter. I believe it's a Toastmaster Tifanka who joined on, on site, I believe. Happy morning all. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, my name is Tivanka, and I will be your ballot counter for tonight. So, as a ballot counter, my job is to create polls for you guys to vote. Um, there will be two categories tonight since we don't have table topic. So, the first category would be the best prepared speech speaker, and the second category would be the best personal evaluator. For the offline participant, I'll prepare the QR code and present it to you here on the screen. And for the online participant, I will share the link with you on the chat box. Yes. Um, please do participate in voting. The more people who vote, the merrier it becomes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Tosmasa Tifanka and uh, Tosmasa Sultan for the explanation. So I believe that's all from um, introductions of a GE team. Uh, just a reminder, be attentive to the time regulation. And I give the control back to our Toastmaster of the meeting, Toastmaster Ray. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for our general evaluator, Toastmaster Brian. We will be seeing Toastmaster Brian later after our sessions, but now, Who's excited for a prepared speech session? Uh, no, 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 no. Who's excited for a prepared speech session? Yay! Me! Hey, so as I said, we will have six speakers. Whoa, that's amazing. And within those six speakers, we actually will have three icebreaker speakers. So for the for the people who don't know what icebreaker speech is. Uh, is it's actually the first ever project in Toastmasters. Ooh, so this is a big deal. But little tips: do not worry. Just enjoy. It, just have fun, and you will do amazingly. All right. So, without further ado, I will be presenting the first speaker. The first speaker that will come up is Toastmaster Adi. But I will not be the one who introduced Toastmaster Adi. 
his evaluator, Tosmarsoni, will be introducing him. So, Tosmarsoni, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. How are you doing, Tosmarsoni? I'm doing good. Thank you. All right, great. All right. The screen is yours. All right. Thank you, Tosmarsoni, for introducing me. Happy morning, everyone. Good morning. Everyone know that first step is always the hardest step. But today, one of our member, Toastmaster Adi, will take his first step in Toastmaster by doing his icebreaker speech. So icebreaker speech is a speech to introduce himself and to help him learn about basic structure of the speech. Of the speech. And he will embark his Toastmaster journey by taking a dynamic leadership pathways. Well, I think everyone could not wait for his speech, right? So without further ado, let us be attentive for the next four to six minutes. No, actually let's be attentive for the whole session, but especially let's give the next four to six minutes to Toastmaster Adi to deliver his speech with the title, Change. Well, I have to say it out loud because this titled in all uh, uppercase. So please welcome Toastmaster Adi. Change, change, Toastmaster Adi. Woo! Thank you, Toastmaster Sony. Hello, morning, everyone at the floor and also at the screen. If you feel good, can I can I hear SGBD? Thank you. Okay. Last week, we had a in inaugurations of our residence with all of his structures. And today, I saw in the newspaper and in the media that all of the organizations went to a military uh, training in the Magellan. If we saw in the social media timeline, we see pro and cons in the social media, good and bad, all things we can read in the social media timeline. Because everybody hates changes, right? Based on the research that I read in the some research, it mentions that half of the citizens in the world, half of the citizens in the world hate changes. They prefer to have a life in a constant, in a regular basis, in a normal life. So nobody loves the changes. But in fact, it's nothing constant, but change itself. Yeah. So I'm Adi, your new fellow Toastmasters, and I'm delivering my first ice-breaking speech, and I titled this as Change. Okay, if I look back, my journey attentively. Change been coloring my journey. Okay, let's start with number one. I was born and raised in a small city in a West Java. And then my family, my parents, pushed me, insist me to pursue my education outside my hometown. Living alone, 15 years old, starting start something new, outside my comfort zone. So that's I start my life out of my comfort zone for the first time. I was graduated as an engineer and then end up as a marketing now. So that's a second change in my life. And if I look back all the journey in the professional life as a marketer, I change time to time the field from the automotive industry, moving to food and beverage, moving to beauty, moving to healthcare and professional uh, pharmaceutical, and then, and then end up in the healthcare industry. So all the journey completed me as a professional marketer. And the recent change in my life, I did switch my career from uh, professional marketers as an entrepreneur. It's not easy. 
even though I have more than 15 years old as a marketing, but it doesn't make my life as an entrepreneur, it's easier. It's even harder. Yeah. Why? Because the market and the customer is always changing from the physical life to digital life, from the printing media to the digital media, from the millennial customers to the Gen Z and Alpha customers. So if we're talking about the Gen Z and Alpha customers, what make us what make them different with me as a millennials? I know you guys are Gen Z and Alpha. Okay. The first Gen Z and Alpha are fear of missing out. So even though they're FOMO, but they're always doing a deep research before they did a purchase. So they will love the brand that have same value with them, environment friendly, more uh, free from harsh things, and etc. So they prefer to have a brand that share the value with them. See, the change is always following us. So if you are now facing a change, the key is being adaptive. Fear of change is pointless. I remark again, fear of change is pointless, but fear of something is a point because it will trigger you to prepare for a change. Okay, I'm Adi, your Toastmaster. Thank you very much. Wow. During his speech, the only thing I could think of is that was his first ever speech, guys. Can we give a round of applause? Housemaster Adi, not only you talk about change, but I think something has changed. You're not only just Toastmaster Adi, but you are becoming a public speaker in front of our eyes. Wow. He said, fear of change is pointless, but fearing something is a point to prepare you to change. That's very, very great. Wow, amazing. Okay, I cannot wait to hear more amazing speakers. Let's not go on much, much longer. Let's go to our next speaker. Our next speaker, the next person who will deliver their icebreaker speech is Toastmaster Antonia. Where is Toastmaster Antonia? Oh, there you are. How are you, Toastmaster Antonia? Are you ready? <laughs> For online audience, he, she just did this when I asked, are you ready? Okay, so without further ado, I will not be the one who introduced you, but your evaluator, Toastmaster Rachel. Toastmaster Rachel, are you ready to introduce Toastmaster Antonia? All right, please give it up for Toastmaster Rachel. Happy morning, everyone. I can hear you. Yes, I think you are all attentive. Our second speaker for today, Toastmaster Antonia, will be delivering her first ever speech entitled glossophobic do you have any idea what is glossophobic no so if you want to know more about this let's be attentive and let's hear out postmaster antonia but before that the purpose of her speech is to introduce herself and to learn some basic structure of public speaking so postmaster antonia the floor is yours Okay, thank you. Okay, let me start with the question. Have you ever asked yourself, what would you do if fear wouldn't hold you back? Have you ever 
think about this question? Any raised hand for me? Sometimes, oh, thank you, thank you. So do I. We're all in the same page, yeah? Thank you. So I know a lot of people have fears, big or small. They all have fears that makes them always on their comfort zone. That, um, so do I. I have one big fear. My biggest fear is now public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I know that's uh, one of many phobia that call uh, glossophobia. And now fellow Toastmaster and guests, let me take you to the time, the first time I realized that I am glossophobic. Okay, so it starts like uh, nine years ago, I had a good friend at office that always asked me to join his Toastmaster meeting club. Always, uh, yeah, like as a guest, come visit my Toastmaster meeting club. It's going to be fun. And I always say, no, no, no. I'm not a big fan of a social club. I don't like to meet new people. Those are like all oh, very awkward. No, no. But... For making him uh, like stop asking me, okay, finally I said yes. Okay, I will come to your club. What could be worse? All I have to do is just like come, sit, listen attentively, and then go home. That's all, right? The worst case is I just have to introduce myself as a newcomer. Okay, then I will come. So I remember that Saturday morning, I come. And yeah, like usually, yeah, I get introduced with some people, etc. And then, okay, the meeting starts. Like I planned, like I expected. I just sit, listen, watch everything. Until one session, the Toastmaster of the meeting said, this is table topic session. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Oh my God, okay, what's the table topic session? And then my friend raised his hand and come to the come to the front. Okay, one relief for me. And then suddenly the Toastmaster of the meeting mentioned my name. Oh, uh, okay. Antonia, you are the guest of the day. Please come to the front. Uh oh. Table topic, what is this? Come on. Oh, uh, even when the Toastmaster of the meeting make general jokes about my name. Oh, Antonia, you are a woman. We can call you Nia, right? It, I, I just freeze. I cannot think. It's like, oh my God, I even not smile. Ah, okay. And come on, step up. You have to do some role play here. Oh, role play, what is that? Oh my God. I feel like I want to cry, I want to run, I want to scream at the same time. I don't know. I cannot think. But the show must go on. And I finally step up and yeah, do this role play. I even cannot remember what I'm doing there. Okay, but um, <clears throat> after that, I feel like Okay, is this the last thing that ever happened to me? I don't want to be here anymore. Uh, that is the shocking and the most terrifying experience in my life, even only for three minutes. Okay, no, no, I will never come again. But the magic lead is I, within nine years, sometimes I become a guest in several clubs. I don't know why, but the prior thing may be because the positive and supportive environment in all the Toastmaster. Yeah, not all, yeah. I only attend like two or three. Yeah. <laughs> but everything and every club is like support each other. So I like it. Okay, okay. So fellow Toastmaster and guests, it's like um, now I realize that Toastmaster uh, club meeting is not only public speaking. It's about face your fears and like some quote said okay uh, fear is only on your mind and I don't want to be a claustrophobic anymore so like okay that's it to my mind uh, table topic let's be friend and now I'm officially a member in this club wow. 
start <laughs> thank you start at the early this month and i want to thank you all of you to feel me welcome on this club thank you back to you to master of the meeting a shaking you know <laughs> oh wow can we please give a round of applause to those rasa antonia If you weren't talking about the fear of public speaking, I wouldn't know that she has glossophobic. Would you guys agree with me? Yes. You did very, very well. You should be proud of yourself. Yes. Give a round of applause again. Yes, I agree 100%. Sometimes fears is just some someone or something that we need to be friend with. When we befriend fears, we then meet it, you know, with open arms and just embrace it. And hey, hello fear, I'm Ray and I'm ready <laughs> to embrace you. You know what I mean? I, I love that very much. Okay, next speaker, another icebreaker, which is Toastmaster Mia, but I will not be the one who introduced Toastmaster Mia. Toastmaster Lorna from Sarikal Toastmaster Club will be the one who introduced Toastmaster Mia. Hello, Toastmaster Lorna. Hello there. Can you hear me, Toastmaster, today? I hear you. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm very well. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Are you ready to be the evaluator of Toastmaster Mia? Definitely. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, finish yours. Thank you. Today... Tasmaster Mia is doing her icebreaker speech. She's doing the presentation mastery pathway. And the purpose of this project is for her to introduce herself to the club and to show us that she's learned the basic structure of a public speech. Tasmaster Mia, healed with stronger self-esteem, healed with stronger self-esteem, Tasmaster Mia. Her speech will be four to six minutes long. Over to you, Mia. Thank you, evaluator and the Toastmaster of the meeting. Happy morning, fellow Toastmaster and guests. Happy morning. Happy morning. So please your, uh, raise your hand offline and online if you want the money. Whoa, everyone. Okay. Now, do you still want the money? Yeah. Wow, great. There's so many. And then online, yeah. So now, how about... Yeah. Right. I like the spirit. Great. So my name is Mia. I've, uh, I've worked in communications at the international and national level for the past 10 years. And I've been so blessed because I could practice my expertise in uh, public communications However, sadly, three year, four years ago, I lost my courage to speak in public. What I showed you, actually, it was one of the uh, public speech that changed my life as it called to action and changed my narrative. I joined the Toastmaster because I want to gain the sense of belonging and be in a supportive environment where I can grow so I can speak my mind at ease. What happened to me? Why I lost the courage to speak in public? Back in Geneva, Switzerland, a doctor abused me when examining me physically. I was lost. My life turned upside down. I couldn't concentrate to my work and my international career was on hold. I couldn't maintain a relationship because I started to fear my former significant other. I felt very small, worthless. And then my physical and psychological condition got worsened until I was prescribed to see professionals for a considerable amount of time. Being assisted by a psychiatrist during my healing and self 
growing path was a blessing in disguise and a privilege. Together, we attentively trying to figure out who I was. Apparently, I didn't know very well who I was. You, have, you heard it right. And we found the root cause of my trauma was in power abuse. We've talked a lot about self-esteem, sorry, about self-love, but please raise your hand online and offline if you know that self-love differs from self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So I'm, all right, great. Some of you already know. Well, I'm going to explain um, self-esteem self explanation from the School of Life. It is a resourceful platform where I gain like technic, uh, theoretical and practical information on psychological and philosophical topics. Self-esteem is a record of our history. So joining Toastmaster is my path, my one of my learning path where I strengthen my self-esteem and my resilience. I want to challenge myself to learn and practice, to gain attention from the audience, to speak, to explain my ideas and thoughts in a clear and eloquent manner. So why the self-esteem was very important to rebuild my life? Well, I showed you the, the money, right? Regardless, I tried to destroy the physical. As you said, all of you knew already that the value remains. And on, thank you. And on Toastmaster, I've also met empathetic um, mentors such as Toastmaster Lorna and Toastmaster Leonie. And they've inspired me to give back in the future through mentorship. I want to thank you for all of you who have been so attentive in my speech until now. Ever since I have healed, I've been very outspoken on the sexual exploitation and abuse. I have um, continued to strengthen my self-esteem and resilience. And for the take out, takeaways of my speech, please be kind to others because you've never know what they've been through. Thank you. Oh my God. Well, I think I can safely say that all of us here are very proud of you, Toastmaster. Yeah. Mia, for sharing your story, but also just being such a light to the people around you with the message that you bring. So congratulations for your amazing icebreaker. Wow, I genuinely, I, I'm a very talkative person. <laughs> uh, it's, wow, we have amazing icebreak, like icebreaker speakers. Can we please give a round of applause for all three Icebreakers, wow. This is a reminder that no matter like what level you are in your life, you can give value to each other. That's what Toastmaster is about. And I love that very much. All right, moving on to our next speaker is Toastmaster Dinda. Hello, how are you? Are you nervous? <laughs> don't worry i i know you you you'll be great but i'm not gonna be the one who introduced toastmaster dinda of course toastmaster olivia our vice president of public relation will be the one who introduced toastmaster dinda please come up to the stage toastmaster olivia and deliver her project and introduce her the stage is yours thank you Thank you, Dosmaster Ray. Happy morning, everyone. 
Hi, Okay, my name is Olivia. Thanks for very nice to introduce me. Uh, today I will I am honored to become the evaluator of Toastmaster Dinda. Her pathway is currently presentation mastery. Presentation mastery. Okay. What is presentation mastery? This one. Okay, you can see it. Uh, so her project is actually level one, project four point one which is evaluation and feedback, the first speech. So the purpose of this speech is actually to practice applying feedback and serve as a speech evaluator during a club meeting. And also to for the member to present a speech and receive feedback from the evaluator. So please be attentive because her speech channel is really, really interesting for me. Yeah, okay. So, without further ado, Toastmaster Dinda. Zombie, not alive, but I'm still walking. Zombie, not alive, but I'm still walking. Toastmaster Dinda. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Olivia. Happy morning, everyone. Happy morning. Excuse me, Toastmaster Ray, what's wrong with your note? Like, happy morning. No, this is so not you. Okay, can I ask once more? Happy morning, everyone. Happy morning. Thank you, online and offline Toastmaster. I really love you guys a lot, honestly. Like what Toastmaster Olivia said before, tonight's topic will be interesting for you but actually it needs a lot of courage for me to tell about this it's about zombie not a laugh but i'm still walking okay have you ever felt like become a zombie yeah. not in the left side that is just a dead creature is running for consuming a living roar but on the right side you can see that's also a form of zombie and let me tell you a secret a month ago i was a zombie <laughs> So what kind of zombie life that I have? First, I just wake up in the morning with a bunch of feeling exhausted and tired. Even though I got fully enough sleep. And the day start with me getting off my bed, staring my reflections blank at my mirror. And then doing my ritual without any attentive feeling, without any enthusiasm. It was my zombie face. You know, it was really hard because things that make me excited before become things that make me overwhelmed and drained. For example, I really love my time after working open my Netflix and watch and ha ha ha. <laughs> but a month ago, I just open and then, okay, what's well, serious? I just watching anything. I watch for three hours, but get nothing. I scroll all the social medias, open the TikTok, okay, stop, open the X, okay, stop, open the IG, okay, stop. Uh, it was really helpful for me. And back again, it was my zombie face. I'm sure that some of you maybe ever felt become a zombie like that. But don't worry, because the zombie face is over. 
if you are my fellow Instagram friends, you know that last week I was attending a concert of my man, my love, my husband is if if I can tell them. That's day six concert. So the day six is a band. They play guitars, they sing, they drum. They have so great vocals and they have so great songs. I attended and suddenly life is worth living again. <laughs> and then the members coming, ah, do you know that's my boyfriend? And he doesn't know that actually. But that's it. I was really happy. So I want to tell you a fun fact. It's a fact. I know it's not really fun, but it's still a fact. One of the six songs, the title is Zombie. That's that I take for my title. Alive. Uh, I'm walking, but not alive. I'm breathing, but dying inside. I'm just waiting for the day to pass by. You have to listen to it. Please support my husbands on Spotify. <laughs> yes, husbands. Okay, plural, because more than one. <laughs> so from uh, the concert when the zombie was played I was crying you know because I think that songs is tell me some things like it's okay to not be okay it's okay to feel depressed it's part of our life so for me being a zombie for the time, it's okay. Something that is not okay is you choose and you decide to be a zombie in all your life. Remember the difference. If you come, if you become a zombie just for some time, it's okay because after that you will reg regain and rebranding, regret you your new self. But if you choose to be that for all of time, it will consume you. You will lose you. Okay, that's about the zombie and the daisies. So my speech is not to get you to get a concert, but my speech is to ask you if you ever take your zombie face, you need to find the vaccine. Oh yeah, then this is the lyrics that I said before it was really good once again the promotion please listen to their song and then sing it, sing it. Sing it. <laughs> i'm afraid that you will go but okay i'm so sorry I, i'm kind of like butanada but yeah i feel like i become a zombie not allowed but i'm still walking okay please stop that <laughs> Because my time is almost over. So the thing is, Mr. Adrian, please help me too. The thing is, you can find many cute things, many cute activity to become a vaccine to heal your zombie face. My friends start from washing the dishes every dinner. And then my friends start from going to church every weekend. You can do everything to leave your zombie face. And quoting from the famous line in TikTok, this is the reminder, you are not depressed. Maybe you are needed some sun or somebody's sun. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, I don't know why I feel attacked. <laughs> wow, give a round of applause, a thundering applause to Toastmaster Dinda. Wow. One, one phrase that I actually love from your speech, you say that, please find your vaccine because if you don't, you will lose you. That is so powerful. And I agree. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's okay to be zombies. Zombies are cool, you know? Uh, you know, something like that. But you need to find your vaccine. And for me, it's not bands. It's simply, look at me, you know, <laughs> food. Yes, that is my 
Yes, exactly. That's every vaccine. Uh, I would be very, you know, l less energy or I wouldn't, you know, I would wake up tired and then my mom would deliver me nasi goreng and I would be like, okay, hi, have a, you know, very happy. Yes, I agree. And I hope that everyone here will find their vaccines. All right. So how are, you, how are we feeling so far? Great. Yes, the speakers have been amazing. Are you ready to continue? We have two more amazing speakers. Yes. Okay. So for the next speaker, we will have online speaker and it's going to be Toastmaster Flo. Hello, Toastmaster Flo. Hi, Ray. Hello. How are you doing, Toastmaster Flo? Are you a zombie right now? I'm so nervous. Everyone is so amazing. <laughs> Guys, that's humble brag. She's also amazing, okay? Oh, God, don't... I don't know what I'm doing here. All right. So, I hope that you're doing great and you oh. are going to do amazing. So, don't worry. So, the one who's going to introduce Toastmaster Flaw is actually also online. Can we have this thing is Toastmaster Anna? Hello, this thing is Toastmaster Anna. Hi, Ray. Hi, how are you? you? you. <laughs> yes, yes, guys. Also, the thing is, Mother Anna is the organizing chair of the upcoming district conference in Bandung. Yay! Yeah. Make sure you come guys to come to Bandung. Yes, come to Bandung. All right, so please, without further ado, please explain and, in, and introduce Toastmaster Flow's project. The screen is yours. Thank you, Tom Gray. <laughs> Good evening. Oh, no. Here we have to say happy morning, everyone. My name is Anna. It's a great honor for me. For today, I can be the evaluator of one another amazing speaker, Toastmaster Florentina Andre. She's doing the project Introduction to Toastmasters Mentoring. And her pathway is persuasive influence. We will see that. The purpose of this project is for Toastmaster Florentina to clearly define how Toastmasters envision mentoring. And her speech tonight will share some aspect of a previous experience as a protege. So please help me welcome Toastmaster Florentina with her speech, Never Let Go. Never Let Go, Toastmasters Florentina, the stage is yours. So, oh, let's welcome again our speaker, Toastmasters Florentina. The screen is yours. Yeah. Am I visible and audible? Yes, yeah. you are. Okay. Wait, guys, please wait. I'm setting up my soul. Okay, still not work. Wait, 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 wait. A sea of people talking foreign language. It was year 2000 and I was a third grader in an airport. I couldn't see my mom anywhere, no phone, no WhatsApp. I was lost. I wanted to cry, but my tear frozen. My body was paralyzed. Raise your hand if you have ever felt lost. <laughs> My first experience of being lost was in Bangkok International Airport. My dad was overwhelmed with our huge language. My mom was busy with my siblings. Dude, mom, I'm here. So my mom told me that, hold on to my tote bag. Never let go. Guess what I did? I zoned out. And I let go. Bye, mom. I thought that I would never see my family again. I will be sold. This slavery. I'm too cute to be slave. 
but uh, five minutes later, they found me. I remember their feelings, paralyzed, disconnected from everything that's familiar. That was the first time I felt lost, but believe it, it will be, be the last. Years later, I felt the same sense of being lost. During my first job, I had no idea what I was doing. No clue. I don't I didn't even know how to use a copier. I was so embarrassed. I was overwhelmed. I was completely out of my depth. And the only reason I was surviving was because a mentor. My mentor told me something. Do, do you guys want to know the secret of surviving the corporate life? <laughs> Hold on to your sanity, guys! And never let go. Behold, that's why I am your finance manager today. And now, few years, let us move on to a few years later. I want to talk to you guys about my first experience of Toastmaster meeting. If you have been there, you know what it's like. The world of Toastmaster is exciting, oh, but it's so overwhelming. During that first meeting, I was completely lost. We were given roles, handy scripts, and asked to perform texts that I never even hear of. What's a role taker? What's a thumb? What is the topic? What am I even doing here? That day was just like at the airport. I was lost. But do you know what made the difference? A mentor. Toastmaster isn't just about improving your public speaking. It's about having someone guiding you when you feel lost. Helping you find your way to all this new information, showing that you're not alone. And in Toastmaster, mentors serve you as your compass, pointing you into the right direction, which direction I don't know, <laughs> where everything feels overwhelming. In my early days, uh, is the Toastmaster Alvin? <laughs> In my earliest days, it was Toastmaster Alvin who kept me grounded. Making sure that I didn't feel lost with all this kind of new information. And later on, when I start exploring tablet topics, Toastmaster Dona became my guide. Sharing insight that only an experienced member would know. And then, as I started delivering speeches, Toastmaster Wilson's detailed feedback helped me sharpen my public speaking skills. And whenever I face feedbacks, Toastmaster Andika's positive message always gave me that encouragement to keep going back. Fellow Toastmaster and guests, when I first started out, I often felt overwhelmed with all the new information, pathways, meeting roles, Speech projects, oh my god. It was easy to feel out of place. But do you know what made the difference? The difference is the mentors that I met along the way. So, you ever feel like you're wandering through Ojai and I'm feeling airport experience? Don't hesitate to ask for a mentor. A mentor will be your guide when the path seems unclear. Your motivator when your self doubt creeps in, and your friend who will be, who will make the journey make more meaningful. So, if you're ever feeling lost, remember, guys, hold on to your mentor and never let go. Back to you, Toastmaster of the meeting. Wow. Uh, wow. Never let go. I will never let go. Don't, Don't be let like me. Rose. Don't be like Rose, guys. <laughs> Rose, let go. I still have, I still have nightmares after years and years watching that movie. Wow. 
I agree with what Toastmaster Flo said. I remember my first ever Toastmaster meeting and I felt lost as well. But the, fee- the people are very, very nice and welcoming. So that's why we're here. We're here to receive guidance from each other. And hopefully one day we can guide other Toastmasters as well. Amazing, give a round of applause to Toastmaster Flo. All right, next, last but not least, we have our Six speaker, none other than our Madam President, Toastmaster Donna. Woo-hoo! All right. Now, Toastmaster Donna is going to be introduced by none other than Toastmaster, okay, K. Delix. Did I get it right? Yes. All right. So, Toastmaster K. Delix, without further ado, please introduce Toastmaster Donna and her project. The screen is yours. All right, Toastmaster Donna, it's really my pleasure to be the one evaluating Toastmaster Donna on her pathway of visionary communication. She will today enlighten us on her level two project three speech, Know Your Sense of Humor. Now, her purpose, the purpose of her speech is to begin developing a collection of humorous stories and to present a speech that includes humor. So I believe I'm expecting a lot of laughters from everyone online and everyone offline there in the meeting. And of course, let us give the floor to our Madam President, Toastmaster Donna. Thank you, everyone. I'm a very forgetful person. I'm so forgetful that I am reliant absolutely reliant on this application called the calendar. You like it when you have it in your phone, right? But even that genius invention did not stop me from committing stupidity. So two months ago, I was invited to become a role taker at a Toastmaster event. Oh, great. I haven't seen these folks in a while. It's time to reconnect. It's time for me not to be rusty anymore, right? I miss these guys. So I said, oh, yes, of course. That'd be great. Awesome. And then I wrote it in my calendar. But since the event was still in progress, I'm not sure what's going to happen there. I only wrote meeting 7 a.m. on the 29th. Cool. Time passed. I'd forgotten about it. And then around two weeks later, my boyfriend texted me. He lives out of town. He said, Donna, wanna hang out? Oh yeah, sure, let me check my calendar. I said, hmm, on the 22nd I can't go because I have a family gathering. Oh, on the 29th, looks empty. Doesn't look like there's anything on there. So I said, let's do the 29. So time passed. We were super excited, right? We haven't met in two months. So we set up our plans. We were going to go here and go there and eat this and eat that. Ooh. And then I received another text. Bing. The organizer said, hi, are you going to come to the briefing? Huh? What briefing? Oh, the briefing for the event on the 29th. I'm like, what 29th? I want to meet my boyfriend. <laughs> so I said, huh, um, I, I have to reply nicely, right? So I said, well, um, hi, okay, thank you. I'd, I'd be happy to go to the briefing so that I'd come to the meeting on the 29th, which is when I'm going to meet my boyfriend. So I was like, what am I going to do? So I'm pacing. I have to think. What am I going to say? How am I going to break this bad news? And say that I'm going to have to carve out some time out of our big day because I forgot that I was going to go to a Toastmaster meeting. So I opened up my phone and texted my boyfriend. <laughs> Hi, boyfriend. Um, so I'd forgotten that I, I was going to join a meeting 
on the 29th where we're supposed to have our date um and it's it's gonna be right after your bus gets here a few minutes later blue tick oh, 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 oh disaster. Yeah, disaster. disaster that's right and then he said hmm oh, no. <laughs> When he's mad, he does not say anything. He goes, and he goes. So I, I had to figure out how to how to reconcile this, right? So I said, um, do you want to come with me and meet my friends so that we don't have to be separated, right? Blue tick. <laughs> <laughs> I waited and waited and waited, and he said... No. So I offered another option. Um, do you want to go to the bookstore right around the corner so that you can see books, you can read comics, you can look at musical instruments maybe? And he said, no. Oh my God. <laughs> Eventually, he changed his mind slightly and said, fine, you can ground me at the bookstore where I'm going to wait for you until you come back. <laughs> that sounded really bad. So, ladies and gentlemen, please don't do that. <laughs> when you have that marvel of technology called a calendar in your pocket, Make sure that you double check. Make sure that if it's at 7 a.m., you scroll back up so that you see what you signed up for. When you have a calendar, make sure that it's marked big in red so that you don't double book yourself. And make sure that you're not forgetful like me and save yourself from some headache in the future. And remember, when you signed up for something, sometimes you're gonna have to pay for it. Thank you. Back to you, Dr. Wow. Give a round of applause for Toastmaster Donna. Raise your hands if you have a fear of the blue ticks. <laughs> yes. I also have a fear of a blue ticks when my girlfriend texted me that. Oh, wait, I forget. I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, what? Let's not talk about that. We have a meeting <laughs> to, to do. Okay. But I agree. If you have technology, use it and do not be a forgetful person because, you know, your presence matters to your significant others, to people around you as well. Great speech, Toastmaster Donna. All right, everyone, those are amazing speakers. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Now, let's go to our timers report, Toastmaster Karan, to report our speaker's time. Give a round of applause, please, for our timers. Okay, uh, thank you. I guess we all had well done to all speakers. Uh, here's the sad part for some of you and the happy part for some of you. Uh, the report for the prepared speech, uh, TMID, our first icebreaker speech at five minutes and 15 seconds. PM Antonia at five minutes and 27 seconds. Uh, Toastmaster Nia at five minutes and 44 seconds. Toastmaster Dinda, unfortunately your song made you overtime, seven minutes and 36 seconds. Toastmaster Flo, you're not lost on time, five minutes and 40 seconds. And Toastmaster Donna, your time was on point, five minutes and 46 seconds. So all is eligible to be voted except Toastmaster Dinda. Thank you, back to you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Karan, for the timer's report. Sorry, Toastmaster Dinda. 
Yes, because you sang. Yes, yes. We get it. But we enjoyed the song, right? We enjoyed the song. Exactly. All right. So for everyone else, please go and vote for your favorite for fa favorite speakers. Do I call the ballot counter? Yes. All right. So I will. I would like to call our ballot counter, Toastmaster Devanka. I remember. I don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I think, yeah, please vote for the best prepared speaker. But I couldn't update the poll because it was voted by someone. So, yeah, voted by someone already. So please don't vote for TM Dinda. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> please don't oh, oh, <laughs> And for those of you on online, it's been sent to the chat box. Thank you. Amazing. Toastmaster Tivanka, thank you very much. And yes, please use your rights to vote so that we will have our favorite speaker. Okay, so that was amazing session, the prepared speech session, but the next session is gonna be even more amazing. It's because we are gonna test your attentiveness with the session of Listenathon. All right, so without further ado, I will call our Listenathon master, ooh, Toastmaster Leonie. Hello, are you are you there? Hello, am I audible? Toastmaster Ray. Yes, you are. Okay, the screen okay. is yours. Stay there, Toastmaster Ray. Don't go anywhere. Happy morning, Toastmasters and guests. My name is Leonie. You're a Listen Nathan master today, and in this Listen Nathan session. What we will do is that we're going to test our attentiveness, active listening skills together. So let's just share my screen first. Wait. Okay. Wait. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a little bit of a mistake here. Uh, can everyone? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a technical issue. A little bit, just wait, stop sharing. Um, we will redo this, okay? I'm sorry. Take your time, it's okay. It's okay, I know. Can you fill me out just a little bit, Toys Faster, right? Yes, uh, maybe I wanna. Do we have a guest today? Uh, online. Oh yeah, do we have a guest online? There's Jacob. Jacob. My successor. Oh. Can yes, can I have Toastmaster Jacob then? I'm sorry, Jacob. Hi, Ka. Hello, everyone. Hello. Is this your first time coming to another Toastmasters meeting? Um, actually, I've been uh, to a uh, Toastmaster meeting last week with also Kaflo and Ka, uh, yeah, only Kaflo in this SCBD Toastmasters club. And uh, I think, yeah, this is my second time visiting here. Okay. So what do, what do you think about today's meeting? What do you think about the speakers? Did you enjoy it? I really enjoyed it, and I think I enjoy Kak Flo and Kak Donas the most. No bias here, <laughs> uh, because uh, Kak Flo... A little bit biased, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because Kak Flo really inspired me so that uh, to think that Toastmaster isn't just a place for uh, training our public speaking or English, but it also... Uh, tell us to have someone to guide us so that we are not alone and and Cardona's speech also uh, have some humor so it uh, kind of entertain me a lot sorry for uh, many uh, uh that I say no worries there is no ah and w on the counter for this meeting <laughs> But thank you very much for answering and give a round of applause, please, to Toastmaster Jacob. Hopefully we can see you in the flash next week, right? Another hybrid meeting. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe one day we will meet each other. Okay, uh, are we ready? Our listener yes. call matter? Yes, I'm sorry for a little bit of uh, technical issue here. I'm not really that um, heavy on the internet. So, yeah, just go to the kahoot.it. You can scan this barcode or um, you can just on the online. I have put it on the chat box and put the game pin. And don't forget, use your real name on the nickname Phil, okay? Don't use any alias, please. I'm begging you. Remember that everyone can join this session, all the speakers, evaluators, role takers, and guests, whoever you are, except uh, Toast Master Ray, of course, because. I was about to. Okay, okay, but okay. That's true. And that's true. It's okay. Because Toast Master Ray, throughout the session, we're going to give you random questions. So if you are called by Toast Master Ray, Make sure that you have to answer the question online or on, on site. Okay. That's the rule of this game. So everyone, I think we can all start this session. Let me share the screen for the session. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay everyone. It's cool. So, I'm going to count to. Yes, when yes. I say your name, answer my questions, okay? Yes, that is correct. So remember that I'm going to start this uh, session. Okay, no one else going to join. Okay, going to start from three, two, and one. It's going to be easy, yeah? I think we are all an attentive listener. Okay, so look at that. It's so easy. Ooh, Hi. it's very easy. Very easy. Who said mm -hmm. that Temple Topic is one of their fears? Ooh. Toastmaster Tifanka, what is your fear? <laughs> oh, public speaking as well. Okay. We just answered that because you don't know what to answer. Or... Okay, okay, okay. My fear is actually not able to eat the food I, I like. That's my fear. Okay. Donna. Okay. So Toastmaster Donna, um, can you please give us a little brief or like, you know, someone said that their first meeting in Toastmasters, right? So Toastmaster Donna, can you please tell us like a little bit uh, about your first meeting in Toastmasters? Um. It was online in 2022. Um, I was appointed to do table topics and I was under time for five seconds. Oh, <laughs> under time. And now you're always over time. <laughs> <laughs> Same, actually. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Dana. Yay. Ooh, the, Yay. The scoreboard is changing again. Yes. So it's working. <laughs> Toastmaster Dinda. Hello, Toastmaster Dinda. Toastmaster Dinda. Can you please let us know about your band? Can you please uh, maybe like sell us? Why do we need to listen to your husbands? Uh, you said the answer twice. Okay. okay, all right. Okay, wait, are they Korean bands? Yes, they are basically Korean bands, but they make some in English. Oh, okay, okay. They're rock. Okay. Yes. Hey, it's working. Yeah. It's working. It's working. Okay. So, Toastmaster Sonny. Hi, Toastmaster Sonny. Hi. Hello, Toastmaster Sonny. Actually, Toastmaster Sonny, um, what is your favorite thing about joining Toastmasters? Can you please come up here? Yes. Of course. Uh, my favorite thing is to know more people outside of my field because I love diversity and I love to learn from any field and or any uh, specialties and expertise. Okay, give round of applause, please, for Toastmaster Sonny. All right, hopefully it's uh, it's working the strategy. Okay. 
Oh yes, it's working again. <laughs> okay. So Toastmaster Mia. Hello, Toastmaster Mia. You mentioned working in Geneva, Geneva, right? Oh wow. Um, so how did you come about working there? Can you please come here? <laughs> Well, it was very competitive and actually makes you feel like I was not good enough so many times because everybody spoke more than four languages oh. and finished more than two masters. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, but you before, made it. Yes. Yeah. You know your words. That's the most important thing. Exactly. Yes. You know your words. Congratulations, Toastmaster Mia, for such an amazing speech as well. All right. So the question where did the Toastmaster Donut? Oh, okay. Time's up. Already? <laughs> yes, it's working. Oh, <laughs> this, this is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, we have it. Toastmaster Karan. Hello. Toastmaster Karan, I really love your shirt. I, that's my favorite color. Can you please tell me where did you find that shirt? Come on. Come on to the stage. <laughs> Yes. I don't even know that. Okay. You don't know where you found your shirt? Huh? Where, where no, did you find the answer to the quiz? Oh, the answer oh. to the quiz. Please. This is a this is a great shirt, right? I'm gonna go down to the yeah. last one. Please, okay. You can go sit down again, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Only to distract you. Only to distract you. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, this is fun distracting people, actually. I love this. I need to kick the current butt. Oh, that's what flow. Hello, that's what flow. Do you want to speak to no, us? No, no, do not distract me. <laughs> oh, I don't need to distract you or the fifth is okay. Oh, that's what I on. Wait, that's what I got. What are you? What? 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 Toastmaster Club are you from? Toastmaster Club. Oh, can you please maybe like explain when uh, the Jakarta Toastmaster Club meeting and you know? Sell your club, come on. Huh? You know, talk about your club. Okay. Come on, come, come, here, come here. Yeah. yeah. We need Diane, to. Diane, can you please do this for me? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's your VP. You cannot do that. Come on. He he's supposed to be. The oh yeah, one. exactly. But you know, you have a great shirt. Yes. Okay. So when? Okay. It... Yeah. Why why should you join Jakarta Toastmaster Club? Because we are the OG guys. Yo, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Every you... Monday, Jakarta Toastmaster Club, okay? Yes, you okay, can so... Karan on the show. Thank you, Karan. Okay. So we actually came to the last question the other day. And the last question is what's the team for the next week SBD Toastmaster Halloween Halloween meeting? which is anxiety exorcism. And we will see who actually get this double point if you are answering this wrong. How could you? I also already told you that this is the correct answer, okay? So let's see who is the best active listener for today. All right, to podium, number three, Toastmaster Sonny. Oh, Toastmaster Donna, number two. Number one. And number one. Ooh. Toastmaster Brian oh, from JTC. Apparently, they are working together. Toastmaster uh, Brian and Toastmaster uh, Stephen. We didn't see that happen, okay? All right. Yes. Toastmaster Back Brian, to congratulations. Yes. Give Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Congratulations. Back to you, <laughs> Toastmaster of the meeting. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Leone. Please give a round of applause for Toastmaster Leone for such a unique way of interacting with us. All right, I hope that you had fun. And uh, yes, without further ado, we, let's move on to the next session. But before that, we will have an online photo session for the online audience. So please take it away, Mr. SAA. Okay, everyone, online participants, please open your camera so we can see your face, Toastmaster Jacob, soon to be Toastmaster Anin, Toastmaster Andika, oh, here you are, Toastmaster Kadelix, please open your camera if you're available, and 
Okay, I, I think mine uh, also great. Uh, I will show mine. Okay, great. So, in three, in three, <laughs> two, one. One more. One more, yeah? One more. In three, two, one. Oh my God, this is hard. Okay, go. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. SAA. Next is our last session of the day, but it's the most important session because in every Toastmaster meeting, evaluation session is the heart of Toastmaster meeting. But I'm not going to be the one who lead this session. It's going to be our general evaluator, Toastmaster Brian. The stage is yours. All right. Uh, thank you so much. And hello, everyone. Big again with me, Brian Hussein. Uh, we had an excellent and colorful speakers today. And um, it is now the time for a speaker's evaluation. And without further ado, let us welcome our first evaluator, who will evaluate Toastmaster Adi's speech, there is none other than Toastmaster Sonny. So Toastmaster Sonny, please come up to the podium and give the feedback. Yes, thank you Toastmaster Brian, RG. So yeah, in case you wonder, <laughs> I'm teleporting from the, uh, the Zoom to here because I think it's very great honor for me to evaluating and appreciating Toastmaster Adi in person. Before I start my evaluation, can I hear a loud applause to Toastmaster Adi for his ice breaking speech? <laughs> yes. The first step is always the hardest, but Toastmaster Adi just did it flawlessly. Awesome. To, uh, his purpose for ice breaking is to understand the basic structure of the speech, but I think he already knows all of it good because he has a good opening with the asking to the audience and giving a very relatable example that is just recently happened. That's, in, that's interesting. And his story, his story and his examples are very related to the topic, which is change. And we can hear all these good examples. And also he can give a great conclusion so that we know the purpose of him giving a speech in this stage. Yes, that's the good things. My job is here not only to give appreciation, but also help him to make a better speech. And tonight, I'll have two main points of his speech. The first one is be careful if you bring the phone in front of your speech, because that will easily distract you from giving an eye contact to the audience, I think unless you are delivering a presentation speech that you really need to take a look at the keynotes, you can learn not to bring any cue cards in any forms. The second, you have a great stuff in your speech, but if you don't grab it, in a, in a, you don't connect it, that could, meaning, that could mean nothing. Just imagine like when you are having a lot of beats pearls, stones, is that your uh, speech things? But, but you don't have the thread. So these good things are just scattered on the floor or the table. But if you have the thread, you can make them as a bracelet or a necklace. So the important thing is to connect your stories, connect the dots, make sure that everyone is attentive by giving him a reason to stick on your speech. And how to do these two things? I suggest you to rehearse your speech so that you can not remember, but knowing the flow of your speech so you don't need the cue anymore and to find out how to connect your stories, your examples, and your conclusion so that people will be more attentive to your speech. That's all from me. Back to you, Toastmaster Brian. Right. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sonny, for that great feedback. Now we're going to continue our second uh, evaluation that is from Toastmaster Rachel. 
which um, Toastmaster Rachel is evaluating a Toastmaster Antonia speech. Happy morning. <laughs> Happy morning. Um, morning. The, the speech at the back. Sorry. Happy morning. Yeah. I'm also forgetful like Miss Tona, so I <laughs> I need my copy. <laughs> okay. Um now you shine your bright light tonight and you have faced your fear and the darkness is gone. Congratulations, Toastmaster Antonia, for delivering delivering your first ever speech. A round of applause again to her. All right. What I like about your speech are F, focus, E, engaging, A, articulate, R, refined and relatable. You were focused on your topic. You went straight to the point. You have a clear introduction. You have a good body. You have a great ending. And you are engaging. You ask questions. To the audience, you have your eye contact, and A, you are articulate. <laughs> I have grossophobia as well. <laughs> okay. The way you speak is very clear. <laughs> we all understand the way you speak. It, yeah, the words you speak is very clear. Refined and relatable. Your story is very, very relatable. We are, have fear of public speaking, like me. Yes. And for you to improve more, for you to shine brighter, I advise for you to know the comfort zone. I observe that you have stayed on this corner. You could use the space, you could walk around, you could do some movements. The stage is yours. And yes, you're not the vice president of Indonesia, right? <laughs> anyway, don't be shy. Yeah, the floor is really yours. You have to face your fear. And oh, um, open gestures. Um, we are like this sometimes. We should have an open fist. Overall, I really love your speech. You are focused, engaging, articulate, refined, and relatable. So know to comfort zone and have an open gestures. That's all for me. Thanks, Master. Brian. Thank you. Thank you to Master Rachel for, for the insight. And I love the way you um, appreciate to, to give uh, feedback to our Toastmaster Antonia. And let us continue to our third evaluators, that is Toastmaster Lorna, who is joining online. Toastmaster Lorna is uh, giving uh, evaluation for Toastmaster Mia. So Toastmaster Lorna, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Congratulations, Mia. You have achieved the objective of the speech in the presentation mastery pathway, level one, the icebreaker. In terms of the speech structure, where you introduce the concept of value and worth, it is, it is such a wonderful analogy to use money, which we all can relate to. And in doing so, you immediately engaged us by offering us something of value. And in the meantime, what you were doing is trying to make us think about ourselves as valuable. And I think you achieved that. And I, I, I'm so grateful to hear how well you delivered the speech because it's clear that you prepared and you sort of set this up very nicely. That is very clear from your presentation. You summarized the speech near the end, and you were also able to call us to action. And that you done, you did beautifully as well. I also felt that your conclusion, bringing up the money issue again, 
was aligned with the introduction. So that is a very good speech structure that you delivered. You implemented what we call the power of three, giving us a story and giving us certain examples from your life. I must say, this was a very personal story and a story often seen as taboo to share openly. And I want to say thank you, Mia, for being so brave. Keeping, keep doing this as it will free you from the shackles of your trauma. And I speak from personal experience. Mia, you belong. You belong in Toastmasters. You belong as someone who can contribute to the lives of others. And I'm happy that if you, you've regained your self-esteem. The ability to speak and feelings of, <clears throat> sorry, of worthlessness have changed for you. And now I want to say that, you know, you brought up the issue of support systems that helped you. And many people, I think you also said this, uh, are not as fortunate as you are to be able to have that kind of support system. So they are only going to be able to learn how to overcome this through your storytelling. This is what you communicated so effectively throughout your story. Self-esteem, self-love, Toastmasters as a path, of finding that self-esteem and resilience. In my opinion, Mia, through your trauma, you had the subject inside of you for a long time, but today you got your subject out of you and you got your story into our hearts. Keep doing that. A little bit of improvement around pacing and vocal variety, but I know I urge you to use these transferable skills to write about your experiences. And I know in the next speech, which is already brewing, you will implement the feedback that you got today. Back to you, General Evaluator. Thank you so much, Dustmaster Lorna, for that insightful feedback. Um, now we would like to continue to our fourth evaluators. That is Dustmaster Olivia, who is evaluating Dustmaster Tinda's speech. Dustmaster Olivia. Jennifer, are you ready? Yes. Thank you, Dosmaster Ryan. Happy morning, everyone. Yes. Back to me again. So, first of all, let us congratulate Dosmaster Rinda for her successful project. <laughs> Are you entertained with her speech? Exactly right. I really love her speech and he's very humorous. So let me give you my, what I think about it. What I really, really love about your speech is actually your humor. As I said previously, you made the audience laugh. You interacted with the audience and you made them, us, laugh. And it's amazing. And also, I also love your cute presentation. It's really cute and you can show it to other people and I love it. <clears throat> so, and another thing that I love is actually the first one when you said that the zombie, the zombie one, and you thought that why you alive again? It did not. It's something not expected from uh with me. I thought maybe you found some other things that is like so amazing. But that's not. It's you met your boy friends, <laughs> husband. <laughs> okay, husband. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Of course. With so many, so many positive things, you also have points of improvement, right? Because we grow every day. And what I want you to take note is actually your posture of going left, of going right. 
it's a bit in unintentional i notice because you are like going uh, behind and in front but it's unintentional so perhaps the next time you need to focus on your posture you need to take notes what you are going to do with it for example if you want to go right go right and then if you want to go left go left just be mindful of that and another thing is like there is i noticed that there's also no confusion with that because it uh, i mean they have conclusion but it would be preferable for you to go back to your first question at the time what is uh, have you ever felt about the zombie for example like that and then you said oh by how do you become not become a zombie anymore da, 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 da. Something like that. And to challenge yourself is I would like for you in the next speech to so for you to sing, but also manage your time. So my my summary conclusion is actually what I love is your good presentation, good interaction with the audience and the humor, and also something that is not as expected expected in your speech. But the negative one is uh the you need to improve is the your posture and also the conclusion. The challenge is to sing while you manage your time. That's all from me. Back to you, General Evaluator. Yay! Thank you, Toastmaster Olivia, for that great feedback. Now we go to our fifth evaluator. That is uh, Toastmaster. No, distinguished Toastmaster Anna who is evaluating a Toastmaster Flow speech. Uh, DTM Anna, whenever you're ready. Thank you, Master GE Toastmasters, Brian. I have to say this first. Congratulations! Another congratulations for our speaker. Toastmaster Flow, you achieve the purpose of your project. Big applause! <laughs> and first of all, I would like to highlight the winning point of Toastmasters Flow, which is you have that unique cute face and cute smile. Indeed, it is very easy to remember you. And that is a very good point for a public speaker, for people to remember you once they see you. I love a lot of things from your speech. First, you had great delivery. You are fun and with proper pace. Also, great eye contact, facial expression, vocal variety. You move closer and then further, something like that. The second thing is you also put a bit of humor in your speech. Something like, I'm too cute to be a slave. And... You close your speech with a strong and persuasive conclusion to never let go our mentor. I will remember that in my mind forever. What we can enhance from your speech. First, Toastmaster Flow, you have that winning point, right? Remember, always remember that you are cute. So just believe in yourself. Be confident. They do them and you do you. When it is your time, enjoy the short moment you have when you have all the stage, all the audience attention. And you have all the moments in the world just solely for you. Second, learn to choreograph some pers purposeful gestures for your speech. Reduce some unpurposeful ones, especially hinder pointing the audience like this, right? Learn about the gesture. And then the third one to put the cherry on top of this page, you may share a brief moment about when your attentive mentor direct you at your lost moment because the theme is about lost moment Dig deeper on that. Where is and what is the most significant things he did to you, made you find your way back 
until you decide to never ever let go this mentor ever. So all I know, Toastmaster Flow. I can see you as a great public speaker in the future. You have great delivery, bit of humor. Just learn to have more purposeful gestures and be confident. Back to you, Master GE. Yep. Yeah. Thank you so much, Diti Amana, for such insightful feedback. Now we come to our last evaluator, that is the Toastmaster Kedelik. Hope I pronounced your name correctly. Who is the, uh, who is evaluating uh Toastmaster Dona's speech? So without further ado, uh, Toastmaster Kedelik, whenever you're ready. All right. Thank you, GE Toastmaster Brian Hussein. Right. The moment I was listening to Toastmaster Dona's speech, I realized how unfair this life can be. Right. Um, if a woman goes, a woman do a blue tip, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Do a blue tip, that's all we do, right? If we get angry, perhaps we'll just. The other way, you are the one who forget about your woman's plan, then you're not just gonna get a blue tip, you're gonna get blocked, reported, and uh -huh. perhaps gonna even go to the jail, right? It's really an unfair life. But what's unfair is also how Toastmaster Dona is just so naturally such a very fluent and such a dynamic speaker. The moment she started her speech, she's so lively. Her liveliness went through the stage, went through my screen, and it reached out to every each one of us here. We can feel that she's actually really passionate and she actually really wants to deliver the message. And that's one of the important things when you want to deliver a humorous speech, is that first, you gotta enjoy your own speech for others to enjoy your speech, right? And Toastmaster Dona has just exactly did that. So huge applaud and commandment. Now, I did mention that Toastmaster Dona is such a speaker. All the time, she gave us 10x energy at 10. However, our energy level during certain periods that we think are not yet the punchline. Not funny part, we reduce our energy to five. Why? So that the moment we deliver the funny part, we give our energy at 10, then the audience will realize, ha, 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 it's very funny, right? Imagine if we are delivering a humorous speech and then we always stay at 10. We will enjoy it as the audience. But when you make a funny joke, we will just, ha, 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 because we're already here all the time. What we want to do is bring it back here. So the moment you give a deliver a humorous punchline, we laugh a lot. For example, when your punchline about blue tick to smash the donut was actually very funny. If only we can actually decrease the level to five when we're not delivering the punchline yet. And my boyfriend is a very caring, he's a very caring boyfriend. He always followed, uh, he always accepts my faults and my everything. Except that one day when I texted him, sorry, I turns out I cannot do this. He answered me with just a blue tick. And at that moment, I thought, blue tick? And no, I was not sad. I was angry. That is supposed to be my job to ghost you. You cannot ghost me. Now, that creates the dynamic. And that's what we want in human speech. We want the audience to not laugh so that they have the energy to laugh when we need them to laugh. So Toastmaster Donna, you're a very lovely speaker. Just that extra boost is to try to be a more dynamic humorous speaker and try to deliver more punchline in your speeches. I'm really looking forward to coming to SCBD again and listening to your future speeches. Toastmaster Donna, really well done. I'll give it back to the general evaluator. Woo! Thank you. Thank you so much for um, Kedelik for that uh, insightful feedback. Now it's a uh, time to get a timer report. How is the evaluators are doing with regards to their time uh, uh, speeches? Can I ask Toastmaster Sultan to report the who is eligible to be voted as a best evaluator?
Okay, so uh, I would like to report that everyone is eligible except also oh, <laughs> except uh Toastmaster Olivia. I'm very sorry. Yeah, of a time like more than I think like in the in my note like third three three minutes ah three minutes fifth three minutes forty five seconds. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Toastmaster Sultan, for that report. Uh, now I think uh, this is my time as a general evaluators to provide a general uh, report or evaluations how the meeting was conducted. So okay. let's. Um. Yep. Sorry. Uh, the ballot counter first. Or... Ah, yeah, that's right. Thank you so much, Ray, for, for a reminder. Um, can I call Anka to... Oh. Please vote, everyone. QR code. <laughs> QR code presented here. And for those of you online, Toastmaster Adrian has sent it in the chat box. Thank you. Um, G, I think we can go on while everyone votes. All right, thank you. Uh, thank you, Tosma Satifanka. <coughs> Sorry for that. So let's start with it about um, how the meeting was conducted. At the beginning, I really love how the meeting was organized. The meeting was started uh, punctual. And um, I love the way that the semester of the day um, not only welcomed the guests and all of the members who joined online and also on site, but also um, he provided a definitions and the meaning of the word of the day that is attentive because again, today. And then we move on to a actual event that is for prepared speakers and the main agenda today. Uh, thank you, first of all, for our timer. Uh, I would like to congratulate uh, Tosmasa Sultan. This is his first um, role uh, taker experience, but I think you managed to deliver and fulfill your role as a timer. Uh, the timer tracked the time each of the speakers um, really well. And then the Toastmaster of Sultan uh, provided the detail of the timer in the chat box so that we know uh, the transparency and the accountability of how is everyone doing with regards with their time. So thank you so much for Toastmaster Khan and Toastmaster Sultan. Let's move on to our Toastmaster of the meeting. Um, I really love the way you handle all of the glitch, all of the technical issues, and then how you um, connect and move on from one speaker to another speaker, you are able to summarize the essence and the point of the speaker while you you were aware about the time that we have to be strictly um, attached to the, the schedule and the meeting of the agenda. Um, it, so it was kind of like seamless transition from one speaker to another speaker. So thank you so much, Toastmaster uh, Ray. And then move on to our uh, ballot no uh, to listen at on uh, to master Leonie. Um, I think you were able to to be a child in responding with the technical glitch uh, previously with regards to the um, actual Kahoot link. Um, I think you you let the Toastmaster of the day to handle that. Uh, but I think as a suggestion for a next meeting, if you have a speaker on or have a really long agenda, I think it would be great to prevent this kind of glitch 
and advanced so that we don't waste any uh, single minutes to um, you know, respond to that issues. And then we move on to a ballot counter. Uh, thank you so much for your um, reminder so that everyone can use their privilege to vote in the ballot counter. But my suggestion would be you have to adjust the eligible um, the candidates each of the category according to the timers report so that um, to prevent anyone uh, missed to vote probably person who is not eligible to be voted in each of the category. And lastly is to the evaluators. Um, thank you so much for delivering such insightful and constructive feedback to all of these speakers. I do believe that everyone can learn from your feedback. I just reminder that uh, be mindful of the time. I, I see that some of the speakers nearly hit the maximum time or even over time. I also uh, can sense of some speaker kind of, sorry, some evaluator kind of like rush in delivering a speech, uh, evaluation speech. I do believe that uh, to prevent that from happening again in the future, just try to cut it, uh, things that is not probably necessary or material in your evaluation speech. I do believe that's all everyone. Overall, it was a great meeting. Uh, so congratulations to the Asubiri Toastmaster Club. Uh, I do believe that's all. Now I give the time back to our Toastmaster of the uh, meeting. If not, I'm going to call the, the for the whole of him. Is that correct? Yes, to Toastmaster Tevanka. Yes. Oh. Okay, so Toastmaster Tevanka. Okay. Thank you very much, Toastmaster. Brian, SRGE, amazing feedback. As we wait for Toastmaster Tibanka, can I check your spirit again online and on site? Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. All right. So, are we ready? Oh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. So, we had amazing speakers, and I honestly. I'm so glad that we're all here. We heard so many stories and uh, we heard amazing feedbacks as well from the evaluators. Okay. We have a major tiger evaluators. Can we go that? Oh, okay. So apparently there is a major tie for the evaluators. So we're gonna conduct one more time. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Use the same link. We're sharing the links. We're going to share the link soon. It means that all the evaluators are amazing. You guys are having difficulty speaking to the fast evaluator. Same, honestly. I was like, oh, my God, who should I pick? Yes, we can. Okay, so who hasn't voted, uh, please go and make sure you vote it. So to hopefully break the tie. Okay. Let's wait for hopefully 20 more seconds. First match of the day. Yes. It's taking us to a, uh, to, for me to a place where it says I've already voted. Thank you for oh. voting and I haven't re-voted. Oh, only, only if you haven't. Oh, yes. Only if you haven't. I mean. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. This was a Lorna. All right. Is the tie broken yet? Oh my God, this is so intense. Just like presidency <laughs> candidate. I was also very confused who to vote. I was going to vote Toastmaster Olivia, but Toastmaster Olivia. <laughs> yeah, you want to match. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Exactly. I saw also vote Toastmaster Olivia. I didn't see Toastmaster Olivia's name though. <laughs> but I saw. All right, is it good? 
Are we good to go? All right. Give a round of applause for our ballot counter. Tasa sa Tibanka. We've come to the end of the session. Did any did everybody enjoy the session? I definitely did. It was a really good one. Yeah. Um. So before we announce the ballot winner, uh, I'm going to call three of the icebreaker speakers because we have this cute ribbons to give out. Yeah. <laughs> Um, TM Adi, TM Mia, and TM Antonia. Please come to the stage. Um. Just letting you know, guys, that this ribbon came all the way from the States. Yeah. It's very oh, yeah. fancy. Very yeah. So, congratulations for doing your icebreaker speech. Let's give a round of applause. Okay. So, can please congratulations. Oh, okay. this word. Uh, we'll, we'll take it. Congratulations, and here you go. Okay. Okay. Coming together. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. Okay. Again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Yay! Thank you, everyone. Congratulations. Okay. Time for the Hall of Fame. Oh. Um. Next slide, please. So, who's our most favorite prepared speech speaker of the night? Hello. 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 Congratulations. Yeah, Mia. Thank you so much, everyone. So, Congratulations! Take a picture. 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 Take a Drum roll. Drum roll. Yeah, Brian. Both Okay, let's take a picture. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> okay. Um, in. Okay, let's take a picture in three, two, one. And... Oh, it's it's with me. Hold on. In three. <laughs> Two, one. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. One second, kidding. please. Wow. Brian, hold that thought, okay? <laughs> Make sure your teeth don't dry, okay? Okay. Don't dry out just yet. Three, two, one. Please pause. Please pause. Three. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Brian. Next category would be the most Ooh. favorite evaluators. The winner is. Wow. He has left. Yeah, yeah. He has left. Okay. Oh. But, okay. Um, let's take a picture <laughs> of the screen. <laughs> he doesn't need to smile. Okay, in three. Two, one. You can smile, Duanga. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We're good. We're good. All right. Ooh, nice yeah. <laughs> Anyone of you who wants to know more about Toastmaster or you know any of your friends or family who wants to improve their public speaking and leadership skill, you can contact TM Dede. Who is it? TM Dede. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, follow us on YouTube, and you can scan this QR code. Thank you. Back to you.
Give it up for our bell counter. That was concept of Blanca. Was that your first time being a table uh, bell counter? Wow, give a round of applause. Wow, I wouldn't guess. That was amazing. Thank you very much. All right, everyone, are we having a great time? Yes. Did you enjoy the session? Yes. Yes, I hope you guys did as yes. much as I did. And to close the meeting, uh, I won't take much of your time. I just want to say I'm very proud of the people who did icebreakers. I'm very proud of all the speakers that came to the stage tonight. Thank you for all the role takers. And thank you for showing us that sharing your stories matter. And I hope we meet again in the next Toastmaster meeting. It's been me, Ray, as your Toastmaster of the meeting. Back to you, Madam President. Wow, what a meeting! Woo! I'd like to give major shout out to What's my of the meeting. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, to Tim's matter of the meeting. Thank you for leading this super awesome session. And I'd like to also give all that, not yet. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Um, can we spotlight our Miss VP Education, please? Hmm. <laughs> so while we do that, I want to ask you guys, did you get rained on today? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm so sorry. Was it super, super wet or medium wet? Medium wet. Medium wet. I'm single, so extra. <laughs> <laughs> do you need an umbrella to censor it? <laughs> oh, no. That's so sad. Hi, Tosh Master Leoni. Hi, Miss President. Hello. Congratulations on having our very, very first speech marathon. Let's wow. give her a round of applause. Wow. Congratulations. Well, I feel amazing because we have such a tremendous list of speakers. Yeah, I, can, yes. I just can't, can't believe that. Wow. Thank you so much, SBD. Woo! Okay, thank you. Really looking forward to our other meetings because they're all so exciting. Thanks to uh, this girl right here. Ew. Okay, now I'd like to also give shout outs to our first time role takers. We have two sisters, well then, and two sisters, Ivanka. Okay, let's get up on stage. Okay, come on up here. Come on up. You too. Come on up. Okay, well, all right. Well, how do you feel being the first time timer? Well, my stream, I'm sorry, I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, surprisingly, it was draining my smartphone. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. It's the only thing that makes me worry, but Everything I, uh, I didn't feel any feel like, only excitement. Okay, great. That okay. And what about? Can I have my? Like... <laughs> how do you feel? A little bit nervous actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I remember how TM Leoni just texted me and said, "Hey, do you want to be a ballot counter?" I was about to say no. Then I was like, I think the motto here is say yes, just say yes. And then as soon as you say yes, you can't really take it yeah. back somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. But yeah, oh, okay. I'm happy I did it. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you as well. Honey. All right. Just letting you know that these roles are generally easier done just online. So the fact that they did it the first time here offline and they got to like juggle between all this stuff in their hands, top notch stuff. Next, please. Ah, upcoming event. So this Sunday, we're going to have a very fun picnic with our neighbors, Metropolitan Toastmasters Club, home of Toastmasters Ray, our Toastmaster of the meeting. Go Mets. <laughs> so it's a whole day full of table topics and food. So please come if you haven't. Next, please. 
we are also going to have our second round of the Toastmaster Leadership Institute. If you're new and you're not familiar, so Toastmaster has leadership institutes for their EXCO members, aka the folks who run the meetings. And we'd like you to be part of this too, so that you can learn how to become a better leader. This will be led by the district director and also like the VPE version of the district level. So if you don't know what district is, amazing people. They're really good speakers and it's kind of like equivalent to ASEAN type thing, like huge. So please come. And it's also required for EXCO, so please join. Okay, next please. And, oh, it is not a speakathon, but our next meeting is going to be Halloween themed. We are going to exercise our anxieties. So put on your best costumes, be as scary as you can be, and we'll see you next week right here at the Ministry of Education. So that'll be all. Don't forget to text our most beautiful VP membership to Sister Dede. Her number is right here. Follow us on Instagram and subscribe to us on YouTube. And take a look at the link tree, scan the QR, whatever it is that you need to get to know us better. So we'll see you next week at the Ministry of Education. Is that it? All right. So I'll see you every Friday right here, 7 to 9 p.m. Jakarta time, both online and right here at the Ministry of Education. So without further ado, I'd like to officially adjourn this meeting. Happy morning. Thank you, everyone.